everyone, Philly Tuesday here back inside of Destiny after a very long time. Today I'm continuing my Ghost Hunter Guide on the Moon. There are nine ghosts here, and all of them are relatively easy to find. Note that I say relatively easy because some of them are a big old pain in the ass. And of course I'm talking about unlucky number nine uh, for this one. Uh, do note that this is a long guide, and do feel free to skip ahead. Um... You don't really need my commentary, but hey, that's what you come to me for, I hope. But anyway, the first one is actually up here at the very beginning of the complex. Do note that you can get 9 out of 10 of these inside, actually most of these inside of Patrol, which is what I'm doing for a good chunk of these. Uh, except when I can't figure out where the hell to go when I use a mission. Anyway, moving on. Now, uh, that was the first one back at the beginning. The second one is actually right over here at this dome. Now, if you know what this is, this is actually how to get to the, I believe, Temple of Crota, but don't quote me on that. No, not Temple of Crota, the other place. Uh, you know which one it is. Anyway, down on this cliff right here is our next ghost, ghost number two. Ghost number three, um, I got turned around. But anyway, we're going to head on back and heading towards the Temple of Crota. Now, if you remember, how, actually not Temple of Crota, we're heading towards Anchor of Light, as you saw right there. Now, this is where, unfortunately, I apologize to those of you who are um, visually sensitive because this is sped up quite a bit. Again, I'm sorry, but sometimes cutting stuff out isn't always the best idea because you need the best general location of where to go. Um, do note that you're going to want to take a um, left at that, um, what looks to be that lunar base there. You're going to head to this location right here and up on the scaffolding here, as soon as I kill everything in here, which breathes, we're going to head to, um, actually not right here, hold on, give it a second. We're going to head up here and as soon as I, I, I gotta stop it saying as soon as I, because I usually forget that, oh I forgot to edit this out. Video files are acting up, so woohoo. Anyway, we're going to jump on top of this box wall right here. Uh, do note that I am using my Hunter class for this. Uh, you can use any class you want, however I use Hunter. Um, do note that the final ghost will be a whole shit ton easier if you use Titan or Warlock. Warlock, right? Yeah, Warlock. Do note it will be a lot easier, but hey, it's again your choice. Now, back here, I don't know why I didn't backtrack, but going down to this area here, we're heading down towards... Uh, give a second. The Hall of Wisdom. Uh, do note I kill a bunch of people here. Obviously, I'm doing one of the Crota bounties. Um, I recently just got this achievement. I've been putting it off forever, but I finally got it. Yay! Sometimes I really hate my laziness. Anyway, as soon as you're done killing everything that moves, you're going to get to this location here. The ghost is actually in this room. Um, as soon as you clear out all the enemies, because that makes it a whole lot easier... And, of course, stepping out of room for too long will respawn said enemies. Uh, give it a second. I'm almost done. Uh, we're going to go down and look here to our left as soon as I kill more people. Because reasons. And stabbing people in the face. Now, anyway, on this ledge over here is our next ghost. Just go ahead and jump on over to it, or glide, if you're using the two other classes. Pick it up, and we got our next ghost, which I forgot what the number was. Four! We got five left. Anyway, moving on from our last checkpoint, we are actually going to go down this into this area here. We're going to head over to our left, and we're going to go over to where those two armored dudes are. Yay, House Creeper. Moving on. Yeah, I got that one too. Oh, cool. Anyway, we're going to go down here, kill these guys if we really want to, but up to you. We're going to have to jump on this little thing right here. Um, it takes me a few tries, but hey, it works. We're going to walk up here. Uh, take it nice and slowly. You don't want to fall off and die because unless you have a partner to resurrect you, it gets a little annoying. We're going to walk down this pathway here, which is, of course, a dead end. But sitting pretty over here is our next ghost. Hooray! Awaken it and move on, my friends. Anywho, on from there. I'm starting back at the beginning. Only reason is because I got lost. Actually, I didn't even get lost. I just got lazy. Anyway, we're going to go over here to our left towards the Hellmouth, and over here, we'll, what we'll see are two, uh, what looks like, uh, a radio antenna. We're actually going to go into here, and of course, I managed to spawn here right as Blades of Crota were doing their thing. Actually, inside that hut right there, that's where you need to go, is where our next ghost is, and of course, I kill this guy, because he's a bitch. Get his sword, not necessary, and awaken the ghost. And there you go. 
that is the next ghost. Uh, moving on from that exact point, after I run out of sword, uh, we're heading back out from the Hellmouth, we're going out, we're going out towards this point over here. And going inside this door, of course, heads us down towards, I, I don't even know what this place is called, give it a second, the gatehouse. Anyway, when we get to this main area, part of many different quests and a strike, on this ledge right here is our second to last ghost. Now, actually third to last. Now we're going back into the Hellmouth here. Um, Hellmouth, whatever I just said this place is due to the fact that I had a brain fart. Oh, I can use this place to go down further. Again, brain fart. Anyway, if you looked over to our right there, or left there, sorry, you'll find out where we just were. We're going to go through this area now, go down this hallway, uh, kill the guy in this room, uh, keep moving, get through this entire area. Um, when you get to this area, of course, just keep moving. Um, sorry again for those who are visually sensitive. Shit happens. Anyway, we're going to move over to our... Well, Keep moving towards the checkpoint, not checkpoint, the, just follow this entire thing. Um, this will take you a good chunk of time, so be prepared for chunks of time taking forever. Anyway, once you do eventually make your way into that worship room, which is this, the Hall of Wisdom, uh, we're going to want to complete the mission up to a very specific point, which happens to be, give it a second, give it a second, when we reach this room, which of course, um, wow, I'm even my eyes are killing me. We'll get to this sealed bulkhead, and once we get here, we'll find these half-open rooms. We're gonna have a bunch of husks rush us, and a knight. And of course, I did this on an easier difficulty just to make it shit tons easier. Uh, kill this guy, and sitting right where he just died is our second-to-last ghost. Now, continuing on a different mission here in just one second. This is where the Temple of Crota, the second Temple of Crota mission, not the first one. Um, this is where you're going to want to either have a Titan or a Warlock or you're going to have a bad time. The reason I say this is because the jumping platforming section of this to get the last ghost in this, of course it's not necessary, this one specifically, however it does make your life a lot easier. Now this specific section with this shard, I of course I have to kill the enemies first. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of trouble jumping. I recommend the Gunslinger for this if you're playing as a hunter. Um, yeah, this one is not an easy one. No, I watched one by Maka, wonderful guy. Um, and this specific one, did not. his method for doing this did not work for me because I'm a hunter, not a titan, nor a warlock. The only way to do this is actually I slow this down in just actually in a little under a minute here. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> Getting over a cold again. Damn you, winter. Winter is not coming. It's already here. As you can see, my many, many failed attempts and almost success at one point here. It, it It's infuriating. I almost rage quit, but I figured, eh, you got to be shitting me. Anywho, here is the slow down portion. Now what you're going to want to do is, of course, um, jump on this little ledge here. Now we're going to turn to our left and jump over to this platform here. Now we're going to have to jump here, right between these crystals. Now these crystals will fuck you over, as you saw so many times before. You're going to jump and try to jump on this ledge here. Now we are almost done. Now jump on top of this rock. Now jump on top of this rock. There's a lot of rocks. Try to, I, I'm sorry, but there's a lot of rocks. Now, this has two methods. You can try and jump on that armature there or try to jump on that little rock there. I jumped on the rock because I don't know why. Now, do be careful. You may fall off, double jump to get back up, and, of course, jump over here and finally collect your final ghost for the moon. So, anyway, there you go. And if we've done my math right, I should be at, like, 29, 30. I have no clue. I don't have paper in front of me. But anyway, there you go. Thank you guys for watching. If this helps you, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And as always, have a great and beautiful day. And I will see you guys all next time.